Hi everyone, today I'm doing my winter beauty must-haves. Um, I've seen quite a few people do this on YouTube, so I thought I'd do it. Um, I'm going to go straight on to it. There are hair care stuff here, there's body, there's face, there's a few makeup bits and a few other kind of bits. Um, so first of all, I will start off um, with face. Um, now, as you know, I have really, really dry skin and in the winter it gets even drier. Um, it gets really, really bad. Um, so, my face, um, it's got, I always use um, the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. I do not use um, face wipes in the winter. I use them in the summer, but in the winter they dry out my skin too much. So I use the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish um, Hot Cloth Cleanser. you've all seen before which is my go-to cleanser absolutely adore this cleanser um, so that's face wise um, the next thing is a scrub and I've tried so many scrubs like I've said before uh, but I've got sensitive dry skin and the best one is a scent Ives sensitive skin apricot um, scrub in gentle that's a gentle one. I really, really do like this and it smells absolutely gorgeous. It does the trick. Um, so yeah, really, really, really love this scrub. Um, it's the best one I've ever tried. It hasn't broke me out or anything, um, which is always good. The next thing is an eye cream. I use eye cream summer and winter. Um, I thought I'd just bring it in. Um, it's a Q10 uh, moisturising eye cream for all skin types. This is a the Cora one from Aldi. Um, I think this is absolutely amazing. Um, really, do, really, really do like this. Um, smell wise, smells really, really good too. Um, so that's a Q10 moisturising eye cream from the Cora. Next is a serum as you can see i've been using quite a bit of this so if you can see that there but i absolutely adore this um i use this first of all it's called um the aqua complete multi intensive serum um for normal skin um this is by lacora also i really really love this because i find that with my dry skin um I don't know what it is like kind of soothes my skin and makes it really really soft um, I absolutely adore this and I would highly recommend this and um, like I said it's aqua complete multi intensive serum um, I've never been a fan of serums but this one I cannot stop using next thing is um, my number seven beautiful skin hydration mask this is a one for dry to very dry skin um, i absolutely adore this product um, this is now is it my third or my fourth um, i use this in the summer as well um, to get rid of my dry bits um, but this is a must for me for winter um, it gives my skin a real moisture boost and oh, it also makes my skin glow also. Um, I really, really do love this. Um, I usually leave it on for 10-15 minutes um, on my face and then I rinse off. Um, but yeah, I absolutely adore this. Um, it is amazing. It smells amazing. So that's a number seven beautiful skin hydration mask. Fan dabby dozy. Next thing is creams. Well, moisturizers. I've been using the Lacora Night Cream. This smells wonderful. It really, really helps with my dry skin. I wake up in the morning um, 
my skin is so so soft and um, there are no dry bits it's only when I after I wash my face that I get the dry bits um, but yeah I really really love this night cream it's absolutely gorgeous and then day cream um, I got the Lacora Q10 day cream which again smells lovely this is so so creamy and gorgeous um, really really love this as a moisturiser. I need quite a thick um, consistency of moisturiser in the winter as my skin, as I said, is very dry um, and this does the trick. Um, and when I mentioned that, I said yes, this does do the trick, um, but if I have little tiny bits um, which I cannot get rid of, little tiny dry bits, I use the Oilerterm Natural Repair natural repair face cream this stuff is absolutely amazing there's no smell to it it's absolutely amazing for people with dry skin and this is a gorgeous gorgeous face cream what I tend to do with this is if my skin before I put moisturizer on feels really really dry um, and you can see it and you can see it flaking I tend to put this all over my face and um, let that dry and then put a moisturizer over the top so I would do that with that in the day and at night time I do it with the Q10 night cream um, and then if it's still and you can see um, like bits which are flaking I will get a little bit and I will just dab it on and it just soaks into the skin I think this stuff is absolutely amazing so that's the Euler term natural repair natural repair face cream and you can get this from boots this is wonderful a must for people with dry skin um, next thing is my hands my hands at winter they go really really dry chapped and um, I also get eczema on my hands um, so I do love my L'Occitane um, well I love my L'Occitane um, I love that in the summer. Um, in the winter, I have to use my Lizelle hand repair. Um, this is really, really nice because it's like a deep moisturising hand cream and it also um, conditions nails. Um, so it looks like this and it has got a pump. Um, this is a 150ml. Um, I absolutely love this. As I said, it conditions your nails as well and I find it quite a really really thick hand cream and I apply this like non-stop throughout the winter um, every single day um, because I absolutely love it and it smells gorgeous too now on to body wise um, no I won't I would do hair first hair wise I've only got two products I think for hair yeah um, three products sorry um, the first one is um, a mask this is the hydration mask from herbal essences and which I've talked about in a video I did before um, smells absolutely gorgeous and you need a mask in the winter for your hair um, especially for my hair because my hair goes really really dry and it just needs moisture put back into my hair and um, so I'm going to be using this um, the next thing is a oil for my ends and it also makes your hair shine and it just feels really nice on your hair um, and really really soft and looks um, makes it look what can I say what's the name um, makes it look really really healthy and shiny and this one also gets rid of flyaways um, excuse me <coughs> and it's the L'Oreal Aviv um, Extraordinary Oil um, which I've shown in my other video I am absolutely loving this one um, any oil will do I also love my Moroccan oil and my what else have I got? I've got macadamia oil also, but this one I'm enjoying using at the moment, um, so I will use that throughout the winter. The last thing hair-wise is a leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioners I don't tend to use in the summer, 
um, which I think I should do really um, but in the winter I tend to buy them and use them in the winter um, so this is the Boots Coconut and Almond Leave-In Conditioner uh, for normal to dry hair I feel that I need this in the winter and this one, this coconut and almond one, smells absolutely divine. I absolutely love this conditioner. Um, it's very, very lightweight, um, it's non-greasy, it's just really, really nice. I tend to put this more in the ends of my hair, um, so I'll be using that throughout the winter. Now on to body. Now, the problem I have throughout summer and throughout winter is, as you know, dry face, dry hands. I also get dry elbows, um, dry knees and just dry legs. So I'm forever using a scrub. Um, the one I really, really love is the Soap and Glory um, Sugar Crush Body Scrub, um, which looks like this. This one is absolutely amazing and it smells so delicious. It's so, so nice. I love this body scrub so much. I love it to death. Um, so definitely be using that to get rid of my dry skin. Um, the other problem, no, before I say that, um, I also use a cannot live without this in the winter or the summer is my botanics um, brush um, for dry brushing I have to dry brush in the summer and winter and then of course your good old exfoliating gloves um, I've got a drawer full of these um, I absolutely love these they're a must um, and then the pro thing I have the most, most problem with in the winter is my feet. Um, in the summer, I can go without moisturising my feet for like a couple of months. Um, but in the winter, my feet go absolutely horrible. Um, they go really, really dry, really, really cracked on the eels. I think it's because I'm wearing socks all the time in the winter and there's no air getting to my feet. Um, so every winter I stock up on foot masks, um, foot scrubs and foot lotion. And the ones I love are the Lush. Um, I have the foot mask and scrub in Volcano from Lush. I stuck up on this. Um, I've got three of these. Um, I absolutely love this. Oh, if I can undo it. I love this foot mask and scrub. It looks like that and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I love the smell of it. Um, it's really, really nice. And I use that quite a lot in the winter. Um, I could get through quite a few of them in the winter. Um, and then I've got my lush fair trade foot lotion um, which looks like this it's just a lotion and it's pink and it smells divine and i can get through loads of these also um, they are really really nice and make my tootsies um really really nice and moisturize and this one as i said it's a foot scrub and it's also a mask afterwards uh, it's also a mask for your feet um, and then well what you tend to do is it's a deep cleansing um, skin softening thing um, so what you do is you put it on your feet cover them in the plastic bags or like cling film for 10 minutes and then what you do then when it's dried is scrub um, scrub it on your feet so it's getting rid of all the dead skin um, and then just wash it off um, really really do like that and then after I apply the fair trade foot lotion um, two great great products for my feet the next thing is another Lush thing this is a bath melt and it is my favourite bath melt that Lush do um, it's called Sidron's Cauldron or Kidron's Cauldron however you want to pronounce it it's $3.99 from Lush and it looks like this. Now you get this muslin cloth and then you get the product which is actually in there. 
smells absolutely gorgeous i stuck up on these also um now in here i know there is cocoa butter there is walnut oil and oats i've got the paper with me here so i'll read what else i've got lush times here um there is cocoa butter, walnut oil, tangerine oil, lavender oil, sandalwood oil, um, what else have we got? Rose, absolute, alder flowers, daisy flowers, and that's it. This is makes your bath so makes your bath look so creamy, feel so creamy. This is amazing. Um, what I tend to do is you can use it whole if you want and if you've got like a tap that's just all in one if you know what I mean you can tie it right there and let the water drip through or you can just dunk it in your well chuck it in your bath I tend to chuck it in my bath what you can do I know 3 dollars is quite pricey I cut mine in half put the one half back in this bag and tie it back up and the other half I put away um, in a bag so I put away in like a freezer bag, um, ready for when I want to use it. Um, as I said, you tie it back up and you've got half in there and it still does the same trick if you've got half or the whole lot. But to save money, I cut, always cut mine in half. You get the same effect. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love this. As I said, I get really, really dry skin in the winter and this really, really helps me. Um, Again, smells gorgeous, and also it's got oats in. I don't know if you will be able to see them, but they have got oats in. So when all this um, bath melt has melted, you've got the oats in the in the muslin cloth, and um, so you just rub it all the way over you, and it is absolutely gorgeous. The smell of this is divine. Um, I really, really love this. Um, I don't tend to use it in the summer, um, but for the winter, this is one of my must-haves. It's a Kidron's Sidron's Cauldron. Um, really, really nice. And what you do when you've used it then is let your muslin bag air dry, and then the other half you can put back in the bag and tie up and use it again. Um, but yeah, I really, really highly recommend that if you've got really, really dry skin, this is absolutely a brilliant product. Now, I didn't want this to be very long. Um, what have I got left now? I've got makeup kind of things. Um, as you know, foundation. I found my favourite foundation, which is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me. But recently, as it's getting a bit colder, I found it's giving me, it's showing up more dry bits. Um, and as you know, I love my BB creams. I love my number seven BB, BB cream, my Garnier BB cream. I find the best one in the winter, which I use, is the Garnier one because it's more dewy. Um, I know they put a new one out for oily skin, um, which I can't use because it's too dry on my skin. But the original one that they've got out, um, the Miracle, what's it called? Garnier Miracle Skin Perfector. This one in the big packaging. This is really, really dewy and it really, really helps with my dry skin. Um, it doesn't look cakey and I really, really do like this in the winter. Um, I can't use any foundations in the winter because my skin is just way too dry. But this is nice and dewy and I love it. Next thing is a palette um, which I will be using and I've used quite a bit of it um, is the Andress palette from MUA I reckon gorgeous gorgeous colours um, for the winter um, like nudie colours love this palette um, so that's my must for winter love it um, next thing is lips um, I use a lip scrub in the winter um, I've got this one here I just pulled out um, I love the lush lip lip scrubs um, so I just picked this one up because it was closest to me and um, it's a popcorn lip scrub it looks like this um, smells really really nice um, 
I did like the taste of this, but all of a sudden it's got a bit too, it tastes salt, really salty to me. Um, so I'm not too keen on this one at the moment. I love the bubblegum one, and the bubblegum one I could just eat. Yeah, so I just you just put it on your lips, and I find these are really, really good, um, these lip scrubs um, from Lush, um, really, really nice. And they get all your dry skin off your lips, and you can also lick your lips after. Um, the next, it's got to be in here, is a balmy lip balm. As you know, I'm going to put some on there. As you know, I absolutely love this because it's coconut and it smells of coconut. Um, but yeah, I have to have to keep reapplying um, lip balms in the winter because my lips get so, so dry like the rest of my body. Um, so that's a lip balm. And then with like lipsticks and things like that, I find it very, very hard even in the summer because my lips are really, really dry in the summer and the winter, but in the winter they really, really dry. So I find it hard to find lipsticks anyway because they always look... Mm. Um, but the ones I find which are really, really moisturising and I cannot get enough of, um, the Revlon Just But Unkissable Lip Stain, it looks like that which you've all seen before, um, smells of mint and really really moisturising on my lips, um, really really do like that. The next one is the L'Oreal, is it called Caress? This is in 01 Fashion Easter Pink, um, so I look like this. And it is such a gorgeous, um, gorgeous pink colour. I um, really, really love this. This is so, so moisturising on your lips and it tastes fab too. And the last one is the number 17, or should I just say 17, uh, Mirror Shine Beehive. Um, this one here, the Mirror Shine ones, they are so, so moisturising. They also taste pretty damn nice too and smell amazing. I love, love, love the Beehive one. Um, but yeah, those three are the most ones I find moisturising um, for my lips. The last thing is of course there is more germs out there in the winter going around colds and flu and things like that which I am coming down with. I was sneezing all last night and um, I took some tablets today so I feel a little bit better but I'm still coughing and sneezing um, but yeah anyway um, another must have is a um, antibacterial um, hand sanitizer. I love this one. This is the Cousins Carex Protectant Plus Hand Gel. Kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria in seconds. Um, so I absolutely love this one. And just, this is not beauty related. But I always stock up on these in the winter. If anybody's got a cold, I run out and get them. Um, so I don't catch it. It's the Benelin Cold and Flu um, Max Strength Capsules. I've took two of these today. Um, these are brilliant. Um, I hate getting colds anyway, even if it's the summer or the winter. But the winter, I really, really hate it. I usually get a cold um, Christmas Day. And then I can't enjoy my dear dinner. Um, but yeah, I really, really highly recommend these. Um, I do make you feel better. There's 16 capsules in here. Um, you've got fever, headache, aches, pain, sore throat, blocked, runny nose. Um, but yeah, I always stock up on them for the winter. I don't know why I put that in because it's not beauty related, but I thought I'd tell you about it. Um, best tablets I think cold and flu brilliant so that is everything um, I hope you enjoyed I hope it wasn't too long I don't know how long I've been filming for but thank you so so much for watching take care and I'll see you again in my next video bye